Hey everyone, Mark Brown here, Chief Demo Pilot of Daher Aerospace Kodiak Division. I'm here in the cockpit of a Kodiak 100 Series 3, and today we're going to talk about the oxygen system. The Kodiak 100 Series 3 comes standard equipped with 10 place oxygen. Today I'm going to walk you guys through where the bottle's located, pre flighting the oxygen system, the different types of cannulas and regulators that the airplane comes with and how to use the oxygen in flight. All right, I'm here in the back cargo shelf of the Kodiak, and right here in the back bulkhead is where the oxygen bottle is located. It's actually located behind this aft bulkhead, but you access it through this access panel. The beauty of this is you don't need any tools to access it. It's just magnetically held on. It easily pops down just like that. During pre-flight, I'm checking this gauge on top of it to see how much oxygen I actually have in the tank. Right here I can read I have 1800 PSI, which in our case is a full oxygen bottle. I mentioned earlier that all Kodiaks come standard equipped with 10 place oxygen. And what that means is that there's 10 oxygen ports throughout the cabin. So there's two for the crew and then there's eight in the back for the passengers. In the Kodiak, seating arrangements can vary and seats can go just about anywhere in the cabin. So the ports are conveniently located throughout front to back of the cabin for your passengers ease of use. So of course you can just put in the cannula anywhere in the cabin. In this case, I've got two right here for easy oxygen use. So when you get your Kodiak, you'll have three bags that look very similar to this. These are our oxygen storage bags supplied to us by Precise Flight, the people that make the entire oxygen system. In each bag, there's some variations of equipment. The first piece of equipment is the oxygen cannula. So you have your standard oxygen fitting that fits into the Kodiak. Fittings just like that. You have your flow meter, which is super handy. You actually adjust the flow to the altitude that you're at so you're not wasting any oxygen. And then your standard cannula fitting just goes under your nose, around your ears, and below your chin and then you can wear your headset on top of it. And this is your standard oxygen cannula. One of the other things that you'll find are two crew masks. So each crew mask is for use above 18,000 feet and below 25,000 feet. These, as you can see, have a built-in microphone so you can actually speak to ATC and they just go on like a standard oxygen mask. Um, these are great so you can fly at higher altitudes uh, if you wanted to. And the last piece of equipment that comes in the bag is the boom cannula. I love the boom cannula because it makes wearing oxygen for long periods of time extremely comfortable. As you can tell, it just clips onto your headset like so. It goes right above the mic boom and it makes wearing oxygen for long periods of time uh, extremely comfortable. And uh, just like this, it goes right into your nose and sometimes you forget you even have oxygen on. As you can see, I'm wearing a cannula. We're gonna talk a little bit about the oxygen system in flight today. So I've already got the cannula on. In the US, pilots need oxygen above 12,500 feet if you're there for more than 30 minutes. For the purposes of today, we're gonna to pretend like we're above 12,500 feet. And I've put the oxygen on. I like to put it on around 10,000 feet, get it all set up and ready. So when I do cross through those oxygenated altitudes, I've already got it set up, I know it's working, etc. So in order to turn it on, you just flip this switch on the dash. The lights show you how much oxygen you have, which is really nice to see the duration of what you have left. In this case, the top light is 1600, that's lit in green, which tells me that I have 1600 PSI or more. So if you wanna check how much oxygen you have uh, left in your system or how many hours of duration you have left, you can get out the POH in section seven. You have this graph here for the 115 cubic foot bottle with two crew on, on oxygen, say at 14,000 feet. I've got over 20 hours worth of oxygen in one bottle. So I have 20 hours if the two crew were on oxygen right now. Um, even with 10 people on oxygen, I've got close to three hours in a full bottle. So you can still do a fairly long duration flight with all 10 people on oxygen at once. And then once I have it on, I just get out the flow meter here. 
and I double check that I have the, uh, the ball set at the altitude in which I'm flying at. So in this case, we're going to pretend like I'm at 16,000 feet and I've set the ball at uh, 16 here. This just works off the pressure of the oxygen flowing through the line. So of course you have to have it up and down while you're reading it. As a best practice, I like to check this every 10 minutes or so in flight, just to confirm that I still have oxygen, that my line hasn't fallen out or I, I, it hasn't broken in one of these places. Um, so that's the basic use of oxygen. Uh, the, the beauty of the Series 3 is you have the 115 cubic foot bottle as standard equipment, which means that if I have just two crew, that oxygen bottle can last hours upon hours, way beyond uh, the duration of just one flight. Uh, so you can easily do a, a long duration flight if you need to be up high in the oxygenated altitudes. And that's a brief overview of the oxygen system in the Kodiak 100.